Hello everyone and welcome to this Good Friday edition of Thursday Thoughts. Today I was thinking about Good Friday and, and a song came to mind and it's a song that normally isn't I think sung on Good Friday. Uh, maybe it is some places uh, but I don't think it's sung very often on Good Friday not thought of really as a Good Friday song maybe not even really as an Easter song. And I think part of that's because normally we sing just the the chorus because the verses can be a little bit difficult to sing. But it's a song by uh, a fellow named Rich Mullins. Uh, Rich has uh, gone on to be with the Lord uh, several years ago. But uh, this is one of his probably most well-known songs. And probably every Christian at some point or another has sung this song uh, and during a worship time uh, or somewhere uh, we probably have sung the song but we probably just sung the chorus the chorus of course says our god is an awesome god he reigns from heaven above with wisdom power and love our god is an awesome god and you probably can you're probably humming that right now because you know that that tune but when we look at what he said in the verses what rich put down he put the gospel message and especially explained really what Good Friday is, is all about. In the first verse, he says, the Lord wasn't joking when he kicked him out of Eden. It wasn't for no reason that he shed his blood. The Lord wasn't joking when he kicked him out of Eden. Boy. Sin came into the world through Adam and Eve. We realize that. We know that. The scripture tells us that. And ever since, mankind has struggled mightily with sin, which basically is rebellion against God. It's not doing what God desires for us. It's not living the way that God intended for us to live. You know, it's things like like uh, killing, stealing, uh, dishonoring our parents, um, being cruel, judgmental, all these things that we can think of that, that God did not intend for us to be. And it's called sin. And what sin did was to separate God from people. If you remember Adam and Eve, the first thing they did when God came through the garden, when they had sinned, when they had disobeyed him, was to hide from him. You see, our sin separates us from God. And so something had to be done about it. And that's why it says it wasn't for no reason that he shed his blood. He shed his blood. Why? Because of our sin. And every one of us, has sinned. In Romans 3.23 it says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That all is inclusive. It means every single one of us. You, me, none of us are exempt from that. We've all sinned. And so that is a problem. In the later verse, Rich wrote these words, Judgment and wrath he poured out on Sodom, mercy and grace he gave us at the cross. Judgment and wrath. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death. Death. And when it says death, it's not talking just about physical death, even though that's part of it. But he's also talking about spiritual death. That idea of being separated from God for eternity. And that's what sin does. It separates us from God, not just now, but unless something's done about it, unless the penalty is paid, we're separated from God for all eternity. But then it says, mercy and grace he gave us at the cross. Romans 6.23 goes on to say, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, or in Christ Jesus our Lord. You see, we deserve wrath. We deserve punishment. We deserve to be judged for what we have done, but instead, God has sent Jesus, His only Son, to give His life for us. Not because we deserve it, but because He loves us. He gave us mercy. He give us grace. That's 
something good that we did not deserve. And we can never earn it. In Romans chapter 5, it says, God demonstrated his own love for us in this. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That's how God demonstrated his love. You see, he stretched out his arms to bring us in to be his children. But it cost. The penalty was death and Christ paid that penalty. And so today, on Good Friday, we remember that. We remember that sacrifice that Jesus made for us. And it's only appropriate that we do so. But Rich said something else in the song that made me think today, and that is this. He said, I hope that we have not too quickly forgotten that our God is an awesome God. And here's the thing. I think sometimes we really build up to Good Friday and to Easter. And we really look at ourselves and we realize that we are sinners. But then we find hope in the resurrection. And then on Monday, we kind of just go back to our lives again. Here's the thing. We need to not forget. Every day, we need to be reminded. We need to remind ourselves. We need to ask God to remind us of the good news that we have. That because Jesus showed us that your mercy and grace on the cross, because he rose from the dead, that we have new life, a new relationship with God our Father. That it's going to be a relationship that lasts not just for now, but for all eternity. He gives us, as it says in an, an old hymn, strength for today and hope for tomorrow. And we need to remember that. We need to remember that Jesus died for our sin. And because of that, we should not want to sin any longer. We should remember that we have hope for eternal life. And because of that, we should live each day as if we have new life. That our life is better, is going to be better today because we're going to follow Christ more fully. We need to remember that. Not just on Good Friday, not just on Easter, but every day. We need to remember that every day.